Now, before I let you go, I wanted to share another little quick tip when it comes to views within AutoCAD and moving around your drawing. So if you go back to that view tab here, you actually also have these model viewport options. And if you didn't already know, you can automatically resize your model space into multiple views. Now, this can be super handy for large and difficult projects, uh, especially if, like I said before, you've got a huge site and you've got different areas or when it comes to civil, I'll typically have at least two, one on the left for my plan view, like this one here, and then the one on the right will be the profile or section view of whatever, say, grading or road or uh, site design that I'm working at. This allows me to see both at the same time and how they interact with each other. If, say, we raise some of the land over here, I'll be able to see that on the profile or section to the right at the same time as it's automatically generated within Civil 3D. Now, for plain 2D AutoCAD, this can come in handy if you're working on multiple different locations at the same time, or if you just like to see that overall picture as you're drawing things more zoomed in. You're going to be able to see them in all three viewports, and the changes are going to be updated automatically regardless of which one you're doing it in. These are just different views of the same model space. This can also be helpful if you're doing 3D objects, since you can use the view cube over here to show a isometric or tilted version of the drawing. This allows you to see that 3D view as well as the multiple 2D views as you're working on a design. Now, this restore button is what I want to share here. This is super useful because you can flip between the last view setup you had in model space and the, the basic single view. So this is something I'll use all the time. If I want to see the whole picture or if I don't need the more detail, I'll just tap that button. If I want to go back to the view setup I had, you tap restore again. But that's all for today's video. I hope you guys learned a little bit about views and let me know in the comments if you're going to start using named views within your drawings. I think they're super useful and can be a huge time saver.